Welcome to the very first episode in this series. I wanted to share a link with you to a course version of this content that is free, more organized, downloadable, and has exclusive content not available here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get started. Hello everybody, it is Caleb and welcome to your React series. I have done two dedicated React videos just to test to see what you guys thought. One was one of my worst performing videos ever and the other one actually did really well so it told me absolutely nothing so i just decided hey we're gonna go through a series covering react some front-end principles including design and maybe some more general web development we might get some back-end stuff and we're going to learn about tailwind css as well so if any of that excites you let's get started so react is a framework to help you build web interfaces Tailwind is a tool to help design interfaces a lot easier, and it'll help you learn about general CSS as well. These are valuable tools if you want to do web development or maybe you're starting a business and you want to build an app. Well, these are really valuable. So many jobs are looking for people who know React. So this is a great way to get started in software. You chose the day to die fly. <laughs> So this is the React website, reactjs.org. React will efficiently update and render just the right components when your data changes. So components are sections of code that can be reused and React efficiently uses those to build a web page. So this is great for single page applications where data may be changing. It can easily re-render and update the data without causing a page refresh. Now the easiest way to get started with React is from the terminal. Probably me jealous of my sweet theme here. And there is a tool called NPX, which will allow us to generate a React web page and do many other things. But this isn't on your computer by default. So to get NPX, you're going to want to download Node.js. So you can go with LTS long-term support, that's fine. Or if there's a specific feature you need that's new for some reason, you can go with current. So once you have this, we're going to generate a directory for all of our code. So make sure you are in the location that you want to put this directory. So I usually put everything in a CS folder. And from here you can say npx create, which the CS folder is totally optional. I'm just trying to stay organized here. I got ADHD, so it's hard. Create react app is the command. And then the name such as hello, hit enter. And it'll go through making that project for us. Now this will generate a folder structure. So you can read about the folder structure in the documentation of create react app dev. It will look something like this. And the code that we are going to write is going to go inside of this source directory. You can create subdirectories inside source, but it's just important to know that for faster rebuilds, only files inside source are processed by Webpack. Webpack is a tool that'll bundle our project up. You don't have to worry about that. Right now, all you really need to worry about is React and getting Node.js so we can use NPX. So you don't have to do anything from this Create React app website. You don't have to download anything here. Just a documentation if you want to learn more or follow along with things I'm saying in this series. So let's go ahead and go back to the terminal and it gives us a bunch of stuff as well as some commands here that we can run. So NPM, Node Package Manager, also comes with Node and that's how we're going to run our project. Now what you wanna do is you wanna open that new directory we created which we called hello in this example, you want to open that in a text editor. So all of our files are available to us there. Now you can do this from the terminal with Visual Studio Code if you have that set up properly. But if not, you can just open a text editor and go open that directory. So for me, I'm just going to say code hello. And that's going to open our directory in Visual Studio Code. Now, if you want to be able to use that command from the terminal, you can go to view command palette and type in path install code command in path all right so far so good now let's take a look at our project we have the source and there's a bunch of files in here we're going to talk about some of these some of these we're not going to use though they kind of give you a little extra more than you need so inside of public there's also some stuff as well there's index.html and this is going to be our actual end result web page html is what's sent to the browser of whoever visits our website and this is going to have our metadata about our website and a title that says React App. Thing saying you need to install JavaScript if you don't. And then lastly, this div, which is where all of our content is going to go inside. So everything is going to pop up in here, but it's going to magically pop up in there using React. So we don't actually have to do anything inside of index.html except 
modify any of this metadata that we wish. What we're actually going to be doing is making code from index.js, which is a JavaScript file. So index.html, there is the div called root, and then over in index.js, you can see that it's grabbing that element with the ID root, and that is how it knows to put everything inside of it. So that's the only thing index.js is really doing. It's just putting our app inside of root. Now there's one more important file right now, and that is app.js. So you can see that it's rendering app. Well, that comes from app.js, which is a little bit more involved. And this is what's going to actually show up in the web page. So there's like three layers here. It can be confusing at start, but the index.html, we don't have to touch that. The JavaScript's going to put all of the output into the index.html file. The first file we looked at was index.js, which the only thing it's really doing is rendering the app.js file. So some people actually just get rid of one of those and only use one, but we're gonna keep the exact structure as is. So basically our entire app is going to be built inside of app.js. Here's another example from someone, index.js is the traditional and actual entry point for all node apps. Here in React, it just has code of what to render and where to render. App.js, on the other hand, has the root component of the React app because every view and component are handled with a hierarchy in React, where app is the topmost component in the hierarchy. This gives you the feel that you maintain hierarchy in your code starting from app.js. Other than that, you can have the app logic in index.js, but it's sometimes related to conventions followed by the community using the library or framework. So pretty much everybody will build inside of app.js, even though you technically could do it inside of index.js. Now we're just splitting hairs for a beginner. You're probably like, I don't even care. Why are you wasting my time? Let's just code stuff. So we'll get on to the next topic now. Before we move on, just want to give a quick special thank you to our sponsor of this video. And thankfully, we're not going to have sponsored messages for every video in this series. So just uh, do, do me a favor for this one and watch the sponsor message and check them out. And for the upcoming episodes, all sponsor free. So hopefully that makes your viewing experience better. So let's go ahead and clean up our project structure because we're not going to need all of these files. So inside of public, we can just keep the favicon, the index.html. I'm going to get rid of this logo and this logo. And then inside of source, I'm going to go into app.css and just clear this out. We're not going to need any of that styling. App.js is good. We're going to get rid of app test.js and I'm going to get rid of index.css. Gonna get rid of the logo and the report stuff. And I think that's good. So this is what your file structure should look like, roughly. And when you delete files, you're probably going to have to remove references of them throughout your code. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say terminal, new terminal, and the command to run is npm start. And when we do this, we might get some errors because it's uh, not able to resolve those files that we deleted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through our code, find the files that are missing, and delete them. So this is coming from app.js, and then these two are from index.js. So let's start with app.js. And inside of here, we don't have the logo, so we'll get rid of that line here. And save. We always want to change our files after modifying them. And then inside of index.js, we're going to get rid of the report vitals line here. And this down here. We'll save and we can go back to our web page to see the errors, but you can also see them down here in the terminal. So logo is not defined inside of app.js. So I have something over here I must have missed. So line seven, the logo, we got rid of the logo. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. And then lastly, an index.js can't resolve index.css because we nuked it. So we'll go into index.js and remove that import. So yeah, kind of just chasing around errors there, a little sloppy, but at this point we should be able to go to our page and it says edit source slash app.js and save to reload. And that is coming from app.js. This is literally hard coded right here. So that's not like an error. That's what's actually showing up in our application. So we could say, hello, save that. And now we see hello and a link to learn react, which is also coded in here right here as an anchor tag. So that is your introduction 
quite a lot of stuff if you're new, so don't be overwhelmed. Feel free to watch the video again if you want to familiarize yourself with the different commands and the different files. In the next episode, we're going to talk a little bit more about our file structure and the different files, what each one does, and how to just be a little bit more comfortable with this setup. Hopefully you are excited for episode two. Please stay tuned and hit the subscribe button.